Detroit's west side. Police are forced to shoot a teenager following an attempted robbery at a pharmacy. Local force Rob Maloney is live there on the scene. You've been talking to investigators. Rod, what have they told you? Yeah, Rod, Rod, I'm telling you, it was wild out here this morning. And in fact, the part that you're talking about is the back end of a very long tale about armed robbery, masked men. Coming out here by Mary Grove College, which is on one corner. You get the CVS behind me here. I'll move out of the shot. There's a Marathon gas station on the other corner, and then there's the Coney Island here. Now, what we're going to show you is the beginning of this, because there was an armed robbery out in the middle of the street on West McNichols. We heard from two different people talking about the same poor man who had started out buying a cappuccino at the Marathon station, and then this happened to him. I see him. He was walking through the street. Like suddenly there is a car stopped and three jumped. They threw him on the floor. And they took, they took whatever in his wallet. You know, when I was about to call the cops, I see like he's, he's coming because we got green light. They could see everything. He got caught off in the middle of the street and stuff like that, gun pointing and stuff. So they were going in when he was coming out? No, he. I guess he was coming towards their way and they grabbed him and took him towards the store. And I guess when they seen the security guard, they grabbed him and let him go. And he came over here. And so that's just one man's story. We're also told that by Detroit police that these robbers went in to the CVS with about five or six people inside and that they were trying to rob them. One of the women inside actually did get robbed, we're told, because she came out and went over to the marathon as well. And then these men were inside when the police arrived, when they exchanged gunfire. That's when a 16-year-old was shot in the rear end. The other one was taken into custody. The, uh, the person who was shot has been brought to the hospital. We have the video of the EMS unit going for that. But uh, there's a lot going on here, and the Detroit police are here in large numbers now. We're talking dozens of officers here trying to sort out specifically what happened here. And uh, so we'll see uh, and, and wait to see now what it is that the Detroit police have to say about all of this on camera in the uh, minutes to come here. But it has been a wild scene out here at West McNichols and Wyoming. Back to you. Ron, if you could just clarify, are police still looking for two other potential robbery suspects? Because you said four. I know they have two in custody and one is... Well, actually, uh, you know, it is confusing. I will tell you that, Ron. As we were told, there were three people in a car that committed a robbery out here, and they were all masked, at least according to the eyewitness uh, from inside the, the Marathon Station, which is, by the way, a green light station, which means it has video cameras, and perhaps Detroit police might have seen something on those cameras. But it could have been three, but we've only heard of two that were actually engaged with the police, so there could be a third person on the loose, but we don't know, and we're still waiting to hear from DPD as to what they're thinking about all of this. Mm, well, hopefully those cameras at the green light uh, business there will be helpful to police. All right, Rod. This uh, story took a drastic turn, so we'll be looking for new details to be released throughout the day. As Rod Maloney said, it is a confusing story. Now, what is most troubling about this is that during the mornings, people tend to feel safer, especially senior citizens. They tend to feel safer. They feel that they can go to a McDonald's or a neighborhood restaurant or to CVS or to the gas station. They tend to think that they're safer. Now, these are two 16-year-olds. Where should 16-year-olds be on a Thursday morning? In school, right? Well, these two weren't. One has been uh, apprehended by police, one shot, well, I guess they're both apprehended now, uh, one shot in, in, in the rear end. You know, they've been watching some crazy television. They're going to grab the man at the gas station and then let him go and grab the security guard at the pharmacy. I think they've been watching some crazy TV. It makes absolutely no sense. So what do we do about this craziness? It was morning. I mean, this is supposed to be the time of the day where people feel they can go and handle their business. A lot of seniors do their banking first thing in the morning. Tom, talk to me. Help me understand this madness. Mildred, you can't understand. You can't make sense out of nonsense, first of all. And I mean, you know, like you said, what are 16, where are 16 year olds supposed to be? on a Thursday morning at whatever time they were down there doing their, you know, during their bad deed. They should have been in school. Now, the bottom line is they are going to reap what they sow. 
because, I mean, you know, you got guns involved in this and you're shooting back at the police. I mean, you know, I have no sympathy for them. You know, and I know people talking about, well, you know, people are in poverty and all that kind of stuff. Listen, people, poverty is going to be with us forever, just like the poor. But just because you're, 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 you're in poverty, that does not give you the right to go out there and put somebody's life in danger, or for that matter, you know, shoot and kill them for something that you want that they, you know, want blood, sweat, and tears for, all right? But, um, I mean, no, I'm not. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coddling these folk who go out there and do this dumb stuff. I mean, there. I mean, you know, that's what. That, that's why the system's there. Now, are you going to live high on the hog with the system? No. You know, you're in water, and water is right up under your nose with the system. You know, you're going to have your rent taken care of, and you're going to get some food stamps. On, you know, but Trump, he didn't cut them out, so they're going to be hit seriously right there too. But you know. I mean, come on, folks. There's a better way to do this thing than to go out there and now these boys, I'm not going to call them young men, they are going to have a, you know, a criminal record probably for the rest of their life or whatever because of that gun incident. So, I mean, you know, like I say, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You know, they just didn't all of a sudden run in there and decide to rob the CBS.